everybody. Well, it's the 1st of April and we're a week into lockdown in the UK. And in these troublesome times, it's knowing what to do, really. We can't go out fishing. Anyway, I was looking through all my old photographs, which I've got stored on my computer, and I have got thousands. And a great majority of those are all fishing related. So for this episode, what I thought I might do is pick out some of the best photos and videos I've got stored some of which you've seen before on my YouTube channel and some which will be new and just sort of give a montage of, of my fishing life really. It started when I was about three years old and my dad took me to the River Alne in Northumberland and there's a picture coming up on the photos of me with a sea trout, a flatty and an eel on a plate and I couldn't actually wind in a reel properly so when I hooked a fish I had to just walk backwards up the bank and drag the fish up the bank. But there's an even earlier picture of me than that, funny enough, of when I was about three weeks old and there's a picture of my dad holding me in one hand and a trout in another. <laughs> there's pictures of my boys on there. Um, what else have we got? Oh, there's holiday snaps. You know that Chris and I go fishing a lot together. Well, we've been to uh, Lake Nasser in Egypt and the Gambia River after tiger fish. There's some photographs on there which are interesting. Um, and of course, there's lots of pictures of Chesil. There's a picture of my dad when I took him to Blagden Lake last year, trout fishing. He's over 90 now and thankfully he's still well. So, in these times of uncertainty I thought why not just put something uplifting and cheerful on so for your delectation I give you Ian Clark's fishing life I hope you enjoy it and stay safe guys
Oh, <laughs> well, that was lucky. One hook. Yes, hook out. Yeah. That's a nice. I've had one on the fly and one on the lure. Yeah, I had one, one pike on the fly and one on the lure. And I don't know what I'm doing. First one's in another caught on the fly. Yeah, I haven't got the right flies, I don't think. But, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, always off. That's all right, it's alright. I landed it really.
for him. Hang on. There you go. Yeah. Well done, mate. You're really funning about with that one. Another nice one. Pop him back. They're very sedate when they go back, aren't they? Yeah. Well here we are back on Chesil and the sea is absolutely alive with mackerel and white bait. Look at that. It is black with the white bait is on the beach alive. And the mackerel. <laughs> That's incredible. Absolutely incredible. And I'm down here with Chris and I've also got Mark here with me today. He's come all the way down from Northumberland to join us, which is great. So hopefully we'll be able to show him the bounties of Chesil. I mean, look at that. <laughs> that is amazing. That seat is black with white bait. Right, well, we've still got a fair way to walk. But every sweep of the tide just brings thousands more white bait on the beach. Quite an incredible sight. Nature's bounty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's too easy. Oh, look at it. <laughs> <laughs>
It is absolutely humming with fish. Look at it go. If they were four pounds, this is on a beach casting. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah. That's a big mackerel. That is a, that is a chunky mackerel. <laughs> oh my goodness me. That feels a bit better. Feels a bit better. I still think it's a whiting. Yeah. You never know, no. Yeah. The bike was no Ooh, it's a little bit of a little bit of a bike back. Yeah. You just want that nod of a cod, don't you really? It was a little bit, yeah. Mm, it's got my interest. Take my time with it a bit more than normal. Come on, be a cod. Don't think it is that. Is that a cod or a whiting? It's a cod! Hey! It just felt, it just felt different. Yeah, it did. Excellent. That's alright, isn't it? <laughs> 